Hi, this is Graham Bell with Real Intent. I have the pleasure of speaking with Shiva Borzen, Technical Marketing Manager. Hi, Shiva. Hi, Graham. How are you? I'm good. Uh, there's a new release of uh, the Ascent Lint product from Real Intent. Uh, what is Lint? Why do people need to use that kind of a tool? Uh, Graham, basically Lint uh, detects these uh, design bottlenecks that impact um, synthesis, simulation, testability, implementation costs down the road. So people do want to use Lint to catch these design bugs. So uh, what do I do? Just read my uh, RTL from my design into uh, the Lint tool? All you need to do is read in your design, run a simple command that performs the Lint analysis on your design. And this process is very fast. So what distinguishes um, the Ascent Lint uh, uh, product in the marketplace? Ascent Lint is distinguished by its high speed and high capacity in the market. In fact, some of our customers, like uh, such as NVIDIA, has reported faster speeds of up to 50x uh, when compared to competitive tools. And uh, the capacity enables the users to run designs as big as 300, 400 million gate designs from the top level uh, flat with, without requiring any hierarchical flow. How long would something like that take? Recently, one of our customers has run 300 million gate design and the whole thing took less than an hour. Wow, that's a pretty dramatic uh, processing chip. speed. Yes. Wow. What else uh, are some of the interesting or major features about Ascent Lint? Okay, I would like to also point out the low noise reports that Ascent Lint generates. Um, basically, uh, we have uh, fewer rules than the competitive tools. We have about 420 unique um, smart rules that uh, basically there is no duplication or uh, no contradiction between these rules, whereas some of the competitive tools out there that have been around for many years, they offer thousands of rules. Uh, and these are redundant rules that were done over time and a lot of contradiction between these rules. So uh, what are the advantages of having uh, smart rules uh, versus sort of a uh, thousand rule set offered by a competitor? The advantage is that the user basically saves time. Uh, they don't have to go through thousands of redundant uh, rules and choose the ones that they really want to use. And uh, so basically in, in setting up the, the policy file, they save time. They save time during the debugging process and going through the violation messages, of course, because they don't have to go through false violations in the report. And they also save time during even, you know, waiving the violation messages. Interesting, interesting. What's your favorite uh, part of the tool? What's your favorite thing about Ascent Lint? Other than being able to run your design very fast and not having to deal with the hierarchical complex script uh, on larger designs to do this, I like the fact that the tool is incremental. If I uh, see a violation message and I like to make changes to my code, to my uh, Verilog or VHDL or system Verilog design, I can do that and instead of rerunning the whole thing, I can just run the tool incrementally and the tool will compare my new report with the old report and it will indicate new violations to me. So this again saves me a lot of time. And the uh, other thing that I really like about this tool is ease of use. Um, everything is at the user's fingertips. Even if you haven't read the manual, and you, let's say you run your design through Lint and get your report and you invoke the uh, debugger GUI, you can, let's say you don't know how to wait, you know, just click on the right mouse button and uh, you will see the menu that allows you to wave the violation, the rule, configure your policy all over again. So the tool is very easy and intuitive. So hey, Shiva, what's, uh, what's new in 2.0 of uh, Ascent Lint? What can you tell us? Well, Graham, we just released Ascent Lint 2.0 and we are very excited about it. Uh, we have improved the front end uh, for Verilog, VHDL, and System Verilog support. We now support all the synthesizable constructs of uh, System Verilog. We have also added six, about 60 new rules. Um, these are Verilog, VHDL, Netlist, System Verilog rules, and they include FSM rules as well. 
And we have also enhanced the GUI and reporting in 2.0, and we have added Bing Software D3 support. Great. Thanks for speaking with us today, Shiva, about the new Ascent 2.0 release. Thank you, Graham.